I know what you're gonna say. Your face doesn't match your chest. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's the lighting. Do you see this weird shadow? I don't know how to get rid of it. I really don't know how to get rid of that shadow. <gasps> hey guys, so today's video is my monthly Ipsy bag unboxing. I got so many comments asking me if I was gonna do an Ipsy bag unboxing this month, and yes, I am. For some reason, it got to my house a little later than it usually does, but yes, here I am filming it. And guys, as long as I be getting them, I be filming them. Don't you worry. So let's rip this baby open. So this is what the bag looks like this month. It's really different from the bags we are used to getting. It is square instead of rectangle. Wow, almost forgot the shape for a second. And it's actually pretty cute. I kind of expected something like really springy since it's April, but it works for me. I like it. So the first thing I see here is something that I'm really excited about because I'm pretty sure everybody got this in their bag this month and it is an Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide-On eye pencil this isn't a full size at least yeah no this isn't a full size but it's actually a pretty big size if you ask me like usually their eyeliner samples are like this big like the ones you get in the mail uh, the samples or whatever but this is pretty large I'm actually very impressed with the size that they gave us and this is in the color black velvet and I've actually heard a lot of good things about this velvet eyeliner that they came out with it goes on very very creamy and it is pretty black and it is very easy to blend out this would be so cool for like a smudgy smoky eye so yeah I'm really excited about this the full size versions of these are $20 which is pretty expensive for an eyeliner and I think this is a pretty decent size so oh and it says here on the packaging that it's supposed to be waterproof and not budge that it's gonna set and stay in place so hopefully that's true because it is a little creamy so I'm a little worried if it's gonna be like too smudgy if you know what I mean. The next thing in the bag is the card that nobody reads. I got a Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Skin Exfoliant. Um, this is what it looks like. It's like a tiny little sample of it. And, oh, it's closed, obviously. Oh, and it smells very lemony. And it feels really nice. Oh, very lemony. Good God, that is lemony. It feels really nice. I really like like microdermabrasion exfoliators because they're very, very finely milled and they work for my skin. I have a lot of dry, flaky patches. So hopefully this works on my skin. The full size version of this is actually $78. So it's cool that we get a little version of this because that's expensive, you know, so. The next thing I see in the bag is this Pop Goes the Eyeshadow single eyeshadow and it is from Elizabeth Mott. We've gotten Elizabeth Mott products in our Ipsy bags before. I know the It's So Big mascara, which is one of my favorite mascaras, is from Elizabeth Mott. So, this is exciting. Oh, oh, oh. almost dropped that. This is what the packaging looks like. It's just like little plastic packaging and the eyeshadow is actually very, very beautiful. It's not too chalky or anything like that. It's a nice, decent eyeshadow, and it's perfect for all over the lid. This is in the shade Champagne, and I actually do see myself reaching for this quite a bit because it's just one of those practical, everyday eyeshadows. Hopefully, it lasts a good time. This obviously is a full-size product, and these retail for $12.99, which is more than you paid for the Ipsy bag already. Just saying. The next thing in my bag is this Kaylin... What is this? What is this? Tinted Lip Balm in Apple Pink. We've gotten Kaylin products in our Ipsy bags before, and I actually really like this packaging. I know a lot of people think it's too bulky, but I really like it. it I think it's cute. And this is a tinted lip balm. Let's see. Um, it comes with a brush up here, just like their eyeliners, which you could use to dip into the lip balm and then apply to your lips, which is pretty practical if you ask me. Oh, crap. This is super pigmented. Usually when you hear tinted lip balm, you think of something that's pretty sheer, but that is pretty pigmented if you ask me. And it is actually a really pretty color. I don't know. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. And these do retail for $19, so that's pretty expensive for a lip product, and this is obviously full size. So that's amazing, Ipsy. Amazing. The last thing in my bag is this... St. Tropez Gradual Tan Anti-Aging Plus. And I was super excited when I saw this in my glam room just because 
Saint Tropez gets so much hype and I've only tried one product from them. And I have been wanting a gradual tanner for my face because I use the Jergens one for my whole body and I didn't have one for my face. So I'm excited to try this. Hopefully it doesn't break me out, but who knows. It says it rejuvenates your skin, giving you a sun-kissed glow and a multi-action moisturizer too. So yay, because I have dry skin. Let's see what this smells like. It's actually not too bad. I mean, it's not a pleasant scent, but that's to be expected with tanners. But not complaining, not complaining. And I cannot find this exact anti-aging one on their website, but their regular gradual tanners for their face, um, the full size, are $25. So I'm sure this is around that same price point. And because it is for your face, you're not going to be rubbing this on your entire body. I actually do think that this is a pretty decent sample size. Like... I think so. It's pretty big. It's like my hand. That's pretty good. Okay, so that was everything I got in this month's Ipsy bag. I absolutely loved every single thing in the bag. Um, I haven't tried anything on my face yet. I will in just a minute. But I think it was well worth it. The bag was worth over $40, I think, and worth every single penny since we only paid $10. I think it's a great monthly subscription. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. And please subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for the swatches on my face because that's what you guys like the most anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying out the Urban Decay Black Velvet Eyeliner on my waterline. It's super, super creamy. Like that is the first thing I noticed. It does not tug on my waterline whatsoever. By the way, this is my brand new Sephora bronzer from their new collection and review coming soon because it's freaking amazing. It is very, very pigmented. I am super impressed with this eyeliner. Um, if you're wondering if it is waterproof like it claims, if it does stay on like it claims, I will give you an update um, in the description box and tell you if it really did stay on my waterline the entire day. So check the description box. I'm just going to put a wash of color all over my lid using the eyeshadow that we got in the Ipsy bag. Okay, so it's pretty pigmented considering that I forgot to put primer on. So this is the eyeshadow without any primer. And this is it a little bit closer so you can kind of see. Obviously this eyeshadow would look so much better um, with primer underneath. But I'm so impressed. It's very, very natural and wearable for every day. I think a lot of people would get some use out of this eyeshadow. And this is the eyeliner. And I think it looks pretty darn good if you ask me. I'm going to try on the Kaylin Tinted Lip Balm in Apple Pink. This is what the color looks like on me. I do not think it is a lip balm by any means. It is actually very, very matte. It doesn't feel too drying, but it's not the most moisturizing lip product in the world. So, I mean, in the pot, it looks a lot lighter than it comes off on your lips, I think. Oh, and I also do not enjoy the taste at all. It smells like fake rubber. Okay guys, so those are the only things that I'm able to try out on my face. Um, I hope you like the fact that I tried them on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, so today's video, I've got an itch on. Someone's calling me. Please, the sun, please be nice to me. Amelia, darling, I'm in the middle of a video. I'm in the middle of filming a video. Oh, no, really quick. Do you have any plastic? Extremely excited when I found out that I was going to... Oh! Alright, I will call you when I get home so we can hang out and have fun. Okay, bye. I'm watching Chicago Fire right now. Um, I just started season two and it is fantastic. If you guys are watching it, don't ruin it for me, but like... Share the love with me in the comments. I feel like nobody's watching Chicago Fire and it is so good. I want Casey and Dawson together so, so bad. The full size version of this is actually, sorry, I forgot, <laughs> for a micro. The dogs are at my door. <laughs>